guys. What's up, Aries? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of the situation. That situation. <laughs> Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So it can be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind it's a general reading, so take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today. Please make sure to like and subscribe below. Oh, damn, nice cards, Aries. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Something new may be trying to percolate. All right. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Could be dealing with a Leo. Alright. Aries, what's coming up? Maybe a future for Aries, please. <clears throat> So you could have been dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could have been younger, could have had some ego to them, in and out. Could be a quick victory, though. Sorry if y'all can uh, hear that banging. Fixing the roof. All right, Aries. Five of Cups. So yeah, regret about something. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And somebody wants to come back around. We're just going to speedball it. Um, show me this five of cups. We're going to put through this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Well, it's Sagittarius energy, but you've been healing or somebody's been healing. It's like you've been letting go of a situation. I don't think somebody's too thrilled about that. With the page of swords. I don't know, the page of swords in this deck especially just like the, the way he looks at you like how dare you um anyways it can it can mean spying but it's like that's the when i look down and seeing these cards like it's like there's something that lets you down that hurts you you possibly been kind of going with the flow chill and trying to heal from this um but then I see the way this card's looking at me. It's like, I don't know. How dare you? <laughs> Definitely could be a Leo there. This situation or person made you very happy. Like, shit's trying to flow back together here. It's been a delay, though. Um, it could be someone upset because maybe there's a delay of travel plans or... You know, uh, it could be something as simple as not getting a text back. Show me this Knight of Pentacles, please. I'm not sure, especially with the Page of Swords, I'm not sure that this person has voiced it. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So it's like y'all are bumping. It could be an Aries Leo Sag, but things are trying to bump heads here. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Comes forward, offers something solid. The Knight of Wands is the complete opposite, the fastest moving knight. Um, <clears throat> a very quick in and out, straightforward, and it even doesn't even have to be in and out. It's that um, fast energy. So this could be your energy and you're dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Maybe someone needs to take it more slow and the other one's trying to move a little quicker. Um, there's a couple of ways it could go, but it's like, uh, the Knight of Wands. Tell me about this, for Aries. You could have two knights coming towards you. Also, the King of Swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Shoot, no. Oh, those want to flip over. So somebody's kind of like cut, um, cut off their emotions possibly. But this person is hurting. Whoever this is. Tell me about this King of Swords. For Aries. It's like they want to come rush in. They want to communicate. Yeah, they want some like sudden change. Or someone does. 
or there could have been some type of sudden change. But it's like, uh, this could be a reconciliation or trying to work on these issues. Because it looks like this person is coming back around. This could just be someone who is like in and out. Show me the Six of Cups for Aries. Because the judgment could be a reconciliation. So it's like somebody kind of just could literally pop up. Fuck yeah. With the Ten of Pentacles again. This is could be somebody that you know since childhood. This could be a friend. Um, it could be a past love. Some type of soulmate. It could be somebody you have kids with. With the Ten of Pentacles there. But that's some type of commitment. Some type of abundance. Um, if there was. Uh, or have been any money issues like this is um that turnaround that someone's been waiting for could be a Virgo here with the hermit because there's been a period of healing from this from this situation because someone got let down um it's looking like you've been healing from it like you've been someone's been trying to let go of it damn yeah huge transformation um and it may not be an easy one scorpio energy but this is all about that change someone's been fighting for it or is fighting for it and it's happening it is quite abundant whatever it is whether it's um feels like a person though this actually could there could be an age difference because we have a king and then a knight but this is commitment this is a big change there's some type of new opportunity that someone wants, some type of change that they want with this tower. And um, they're pushing forward in a big way. And you're coming out on top. So whatever the situation, yeah, you're coming out as the Empress. Could be a Taurus here, but you're stable as fuck. This could be like family, commitment, something very long term. But it happened after a period of healing, after being left out in the cold, after feeling lonely or shortchanged or broke or whatever your situation was. There's that new beginning. All right, Aries, hope this helped, hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.